It's uh, the Premier League show, and uh, this games, these games, uh, took place on the 10th of February. We're going to start today's show at Wembley, where a highly anticipated North London derby was played out in front of a record crowd of over 85,000. That's a record for a Premier League fixture. Lacazette on the bench again, and no hat-trick hero Ramsey for Arsenal. He has a groin problem. Spurs were unchanged from the draw at Anfield, and early on it was competitive and even with Spurs having more half chances. Kane got involved heading over from an Ericsson cross and it was the best effort early on. Bellerin had a shot for the Gunners which went over the bar. So at the break it was goalless. Into the second half and Spurs were quickly out of the blocks. Good work from the impressive Dembele led to Davis hitting a peach of a cross and Kane rose head and shoulders above the defence and punched the header in the corner with Czech helpless. A few minutes later, Kane should have repeated the feat, but his header drifted inches wide. Now Spurs were in command. A Kane volley was pushed away by Czech. Eriksen free kick kept out by the busy goalkeeper. Arsenal had a rare chance when a curved shot from Wiltshire was pushed behind by Lloris. Anyway, that was the first shot on goal of the match for Arsenal. Spurs, with more threat, failed to get a second and could have paid for it as Lacazette, on as a sub, spurned two good opportunities in the closing minutes to grab a point. His confidence looks shattered. Spurs deserved winners 1-0 and looking forward to Juventus on Tuesday in the Champions League. And so to Goodison Park, with the Toffees looking to recover from the mauling they received from the Gunners last weekend. Coleman and Rooney were back. Palace were without Sahar, but they had Soloff making his do- debut up front with Benteke. The first half was patchy, a few half chances. Gay forced a good save from Hennessy and Pickford was alert to deal with a Kabai strike. It remained goalless at the break. However, within a minute of the restart, Sigurdsson opened the scoring for Everton with a sweet left foot shot and the lead doubled through Niasi who guided a header into the corner. Paul Benteke managed to steer his second header wide and although the new silent Soloff was energetic, Palace sorely missed Sahar's craft and so it's no surprise that Davis added a third on 75 minutes, taking advantage of a Hennessy parry. Palace did get a late consolation Milovosevic penalty following a handball but Allardyce was much happier at the final whistle. Everton, 3-1 winners.